the Callaway Epic Flash. Three word. Let's do it. And let's do it now. So it was all going so well, the birds were singing, the sun was out, everything was fine. And then I make that swing. Reload. Everyone, James Robertson here. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching my content, welcome to the channel. And if you are new here, make sure you consider hitting that subscribe button. If you're not new here and you are a regular watcher and you are a subscriber, massive thumbs up to you, massive thank you. Can't tell you how much I appreciate the support. Just hit that thumbs up and comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Today, Callaway, I'm not gonna sing again, Flash 3 Wood, Sub Zero. Is this thing gonna be too good? Is it, I mean, this, this isn't too good, boxing glove. Is this thing gonna go too far? Is it gonna be a substitute for the driver off the tee, but that's about it? Or is it gonna be something which will find me the right yardage, about 250, maybe 260 at a push, my driver goes 275 to 285, maybe a tiny bit more if I step on one, but that'll go into the rough or out of bounds or into a hazard. We're gonna find all this out and I'm gonna talk you through the technology that goes in to the brand new Callaway Epic Flash Sub-Zero 3 wood. I have also got the Callaway Epic Flash wood to show you, but that's a five wood, so I'm gonna do a completely separate review on that. I would usually put them head to head, but you can't really put a five wood head to head against a three wood, can you? So we'll not bother with that. Now, obviously, the Sub-Zero models of all Callaway's products are all designed for that better player. They're designed for low spin. People who want to keep spin off the golf ball and get that ultimate distance. Oh, that is so good. Oh. Now I have already hit a bunch of shots with this club as you can probably see from the launch monitor data behind me. I want to get as many shots with this as I can. To be honest, I want to gauge some bad swings with this. I want to see how it copes with a bad golf swing. Sub-zero, low spin for good players, but how good do you have to be to use this? I've also been out on the golf course with this club and used it for a couple of rounds. And I must say, I very much liked it off the tee. Loved it off the tee. That's the one we were waiting for. Terrible swing. And I must say, off the fairway, it wasn't that bad. I expected it to be quite difficult to get on with. That is outrageous. And it really wasn't that bad. Some of the bad shots I hit obviously were down to bad swings, but the ball still got airborne. It still got flighted. It wasn't like a topper or just a real low scuttler, which we've all had in the past, haven't we? Anyway, tech-wise for the Callaway Epic Flash Sub-Zero 3 wood. Similar to the Callaway Epic Flash range of drivers, we have flash face technology in these clubs that is designed by a supercomputer, artificial intelligence. Me, 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 me. That's my example of artificial in lack of intelligence, maybe. And that is designed to create the most forgiving, hottest face on the market today. Now, you may think that this is just the driver face shrunk into the three wood. No, no, no. This is a completely redesigned face for three woods. It's completely different to the Epic Flash driver, but it's the same kind of thing, if you know what I mean. It is basically a variable face thickness that means that you can get the most ball speed from wherever you hit on the face anywhere. Obviously with the three woods, most people miss a three wood in the lower half here, so we're designed to maintain ball speed on low center hits, or low off center hits, or just kind of low face hits. Anyway, we also have a brand new OptiFit hosel that's a lot shorter than in previous models. That is designed to keep CG fairly high in the face. Don't let it get too low. Don't, get, don't let the club get too unforgiving. This thing is an absolute rocket. The Sub-Zero head is obviously smaller than the standard Callow Epic Flash 3 wood head, and we do have a weight at the front there to push CG forward to lower spin to make it the Sub-Zero model. As standard, we have the multi-compound MCC Align Grip. I absolutely love this. I love that how when you move the shaft round, the shaft stays in exactly the same place, so the grip stays in the same place, so you can have this upgrade grip on there. 
The top of the club looks really, really nice. Nice black finish, quite shiny. We've also got the carbon effect on the back. Real small, sleek looking. And one thing I was really astounded with with the Epic Flash driver was the sound. And this three wood isn't letting me down either. It sounds, it sounds awesome. Bullet! Can you believe we've got all this way through the review and I've not mentioned jailbreak technology? That really goes to show just how far these manufacturers are now pushing the boundaries with technology. I've got so much to talk about. I've not touched on the main thing that was in the previous models, jailbreak. Oh, oh what a terrible golf swing that was. Okay, that is enough fun. I think it's time to put that back on there for now. What do we think and what are the numbers saying? Let's find out. Now, this test was going really, really well at one point. Hmm. <laughs> look at those there, that is terrible, isn't it? But that's human testing. Let's have a look at the numbers for the Callow Epic Flash Sub-Zero 3-Word. So straight away, my main concern is, is this thing too long? Looking at it, I don't think it is, you know. Average distance, 252. So that's there or thereabouts exactly what I said I wanted, isn't it? Um, I said I wanted kind of 250 to 260. If I take out the last swing, which... No, if I, ta if I take out swing number 15, which you'll all forgive me for, I got a little bit excited, I am sorry. That brings the average up to 257, which is pretty much exactly where I would want it. But what about the spin rate? Spin 28, so it's spinning quite low. Remember, this is the Sub-Zero version. I am looking for a low spinning three wood if I'm going to go into this model, so I'm going to be very, very happy with that. The club doing pretty much exactly what it says on the tin. Ball speed, 150 ball speed average with a three wood. With a couple of bad ones in there as well. Oy. So, what do I think to the Callaway Epic Flash Sub-Zero three wood? Now, when I'm testing these golf clubs, you'll see that some of them are hit five shots, six shots, some of them are hit like 16 shots. I enjoyed this thing, I loved this thing. This thing could well find its way into my golf bag. There's not many clubs that I've tested and then felt the need to take out on the golf course for my own personal game, put them in the bag and see how they work. This thing I have done, this thing I've really enjoyed using, especially off the tee. Off the tee I find it goes pretty much exactly the distance I want it to, and the title of this video is, is this thing a beast? Or does this thing go too far? Or I haven't thought of the title yet, but it's along those lines. And the answer, simply, not really, no. It does what you would want it to do. It goes the distance you would want it to go. It doesn't go as far as my driver, which is a massive point for me. If I stand there on a tee, I need to know that it's not gonna go too far. It's not gonna run out into the hazard. It's not gonna go into the bunker. It's not, I'm not gonna run out of fairway because that's a lot of what I use a three wood for. Apart from that, yes, it is nice to smash three woods a long way when you're attacking par fives, but how often does that really happen? Really, how often are you in that position where you, you need to nuke a kind of 280, 300, three wood. Well, I can't hit a drive that far most of the time, so never. Forgiveness wise, the Sub-Zero does scare me a tiny bit. There were bad golf swings. I'm gonna admit there were bad golf swings, the ones that went offline, and especially the one that didn't carry 200 yards. But it is not the most forgiving of club. If you're a mid-handicapper, if you're a high-handicapper, you love your Callaway, you're wanting to move into the Callaway fairway woods, Try it by all means. I mean, best thing to do is go for a fit-in, but I would probably put money on the standard Epic Flash being okay for you. I have hit the five wood, it's very nice. It's the same, just a little bit bigger, a little bit more forgiving. We have the same technology in there, pretty much to a T, so you're not gonna feel as though you're being shortchanged, which I know some of the brands, if you get the kind of better players version, you get more technology. This isn't the case with the Callaway. Guys, I've been James Robinson. I am here at Huddersfield Golf Club. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you hit the subscribe button. This thing could find its way into my bag. I'm doing a lot of three-wood testing at the moment, as you've probably seen if you are on my channel. So I've got the G410, I've got the Titleist, I've got the Callaway. I will be doing a massive three-wood comparison soon, so make sure you go check that out. 
if it's on the channel now or if it's coming soon and that will decide which three will goes in my bag and that's in with a shout guys see you soon